And a while back, looking very refreshed, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Look at you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got to sleep and, and got yeah. sunburnt. And actually having a having these clothes on again, it just kind of like, I, I, I can feel my burn ting having tingling. Having clothes through. on again. Having yes. clothes on again. <laughs> clothes on again. <laughs> and not being at the beach all day. Okay. Um, so we got to talk about Tracy Morgan. This is so, mm -hmm. this is so great. Uh, news broke last week, of course, that he's going to host SNL on October yeah. 17th. And this is a guy that they weren't even sure was going to be able to walk or speak properly again after that. That, um, that car crash about a year and a half ago on the New Jersey Turnpike. Basically what happened was a, a big truck slammed into the, the limo he was on, and, or in, sorry, and uh, it, it killed one of his friends. Mm -hmm. And now he's getting, uh, he, he's, he's coming back, things are coming together. Uh, he's, he's going to obviously host SNL on October 17th, and he got married this weekend. Yeah. And he's able to walk around and sit and talk, but he had to relearn how to sit, Isn't talk, that amazing? walk. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing that uh, anybody that goes through that, it's always to me incredible because learning anything new as an adult yeah. is, is really, really hard. Uh, yeah. So this, it'll be, it's amazing to see and it'll be amazing to watch in October. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, I know that you're a huge fan of Twitter. Yes, sir. And I know that last night your heart broke when you found out this news. Do you, are you talking One Direction? We are. Mm. One Direction reportedly going separate ways early next year. Now, they've got a new album coming out. They just released a new single. It's called Drag Me Down. It's really good. You should check it out. Um, unfortunately, though, I think the guys are they're, they're kind of getting to that point in their mid-20s where they're like, you know, we kind of all want to do our own thing. So they're going to come out with this new album, but they are not going to tour. And they were just in Toronto last week, and I know that was a huge, huge deal. So this yeah. could be, could have been the last time that they were in Toronto. And, and there's, there's some speculation about, you know, maybe some infighting and that sort of thing. That's not what we're hearing. Um, we, we're wondering, though, because we were talking off, off camera. Do they become the Backstreet Boys, where they go off, they try their things, they don't really work out, and then, and then they, they come, come back, back together? And play in Rama? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or... Is it like NSYNC, where one of the members goes off, has an insanely successful uh, solo career, like Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. and the other guys kind of just fall to the background? Okay. And we're not quite sure what that's going to be. Yeah. Uh, well, well, any any well. predictions? I'm my I'm not tuned in to the One Direction. <laughs> uh, uh, vibe, so I, I don't enough. know. Okay, that, that's probably actually for the best because they come after you on Twitter if you if you made any. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, a couple more things. Uh, last night we had the uh, rap party here in Toronto for Suicide Squad, mm -hmm. and it happened at uh, the Ballroom Bowl, uh, which I don't know if you've ever been. It's so so much fun. You get bowling downtown, and it's fun, and it's glitzy, and it's old old school. There's lots of pictures on Instagram about it. Um, obviously, uh, they've been shooting for months here yeah. all summer. And it just seems like it's going to be one of the coolest, coolest movies of 2016. And we'll see lots and lots of Toronto in it. And it's funny, in a lot of the teaser trailers, you can actually see so much of Young and Dundas that you go, you, right down to the ads. Like, they don't even blur those out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so much fun. Uh, and lastly, Rachel McAdams spotted at the X yesterday with the X's president. His name is Brian Ashton. And she said she has an absolute love for, for the X. So she's just walking around. She, she's out and about a lot. We always see stories of Rachel McAdams over here and over there. Yeah. And, you know, good for her. For she just, just, why not? Yeah, easy to get along with. Easy to, she's not like she's not pretentious. She doesn't have the the oh I need to be surrounded by bodyguards. I need to be seen. She's just there. Yeah. She's taking some pictures on an iPhone. No, no big deal. Uh, at the movies this weekend, uh, we had uh, Straight Outta Compton again on top. I don't know. I, I don't think people realized how well this was going to do. I again, it was one of those. It's a it was a bubbling under the surface. There's yeah. a huge fan base for NWA still. Huge and and there's so much of a story yes. there that I think it's drawing more and more people and people are going to see and going you guys. And you don't even have to have an appreciation for NWA to go see this movie from what I've been told. No. Just, just go. Great story um, about music. And Mission Impossible. However, what I'm hearing is that movie going again this weekend was down significantly over the same time last year. I think it was down like off like 7-8% That's a compared to last year. Are people going to the movies less? Was it just nice weather for the most part across most of North America? Uh, are people just sort of, they can get their movie options pretty well anywhere else? That's a really good question. And I think that some of it has to do with, I mean, I think the big movies are going to do really, really well. But I know that there are apps, especially in the States now, uh, far more prevalent than, than here in Canada yet. But you can go and you can actually pay extra money to watch a movie that's either just been in theaters or is, is still in theaters, been in for a few weeks, and pay like $50 and watch it on your smart TV. Yeah. So that could be the reason too why some of the, the box offices are down. Mark my words, we are we are getting closer and closer to the day of same day release 
on pay-per-view and at the theaters. And are you going to miss that? You're going to miss going to the no, theater? No, not at all. No? I really? hate the theater. Really? Despise it. I despise lining up for big movies. I despise fighting for a seat and being there an hour before for big movies. I I just I despise all the the ads that you have to go through before the movie starts. I mean, I, maybe I, I don't care about honestly, I, I, why not? Like if it's there's once in a while something like Avatar comes along and you got to see that in the big screen, yes, right? That's yes. it. That's the last movie I remember really needing to see on the big screen. I guess I just love the, the romanticism of it. I love going out and I love, you know, you, you're getting popcorn and you're hanging out in, it's in a place that's not your own yes, home. I, it I gets you out of the house. I love paying $25 for popcorn <laughs> and a pop. I think there's nothing better than that. Yeah, you got to mortgage your house to get it. But it's really good when you do get it. It's pretty bad when you're, and I remember, I remember as a kid, we didn't spend more on food than we did at the, on the movie itself. Right. So, yeah, and that's I you know I think same day release now. I think actually it'll be good for the movie industry as well I think they'll make a gajillion dollars or I think they'd be surprised how much they'll make on same day releases that's true movie theaters are not liking this much right I'm now. not talking about your your 599 rental on on uh, show me or, no. or on, on, on uh, iTunes I'm talking about you'd probably have to pay 20 30 dollars for it absolutely because it's a new movie and the demands yeah. there and you can sit in the comfort of your home and watch it I like it yeah. I, do, I do like it. I, st I still would miss going to like the theaters at Young and Dundas. Here. You can still go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there by myself. No, I, I, uh, and I, I can see a day where we won't be going to theaters. I, I, I can see that coming. I hate to say it, but I agree with you. Yeah. All Thanks. right. He never agrees with me. <laughs> uh, 6.44 on BT. We'll be back right after this. So raise your